Hello, welcome to the Friday, May 11th, 2018 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I am recording from Indianapolis, Indiana. Just this week again, when I'm teaching intrusion detection, I always demonstrate how easy it is to exfiltrate data with DNS using simple bash scripts. Now in Windows, that's not quite as easy, but Boyan has an interesting script that he posted today that allows the exfiltration of data using just standard Windows commands and only the standard Windows shell. So no fancy PowerShell for this particular script. One problem, for example, you have to solve is to convert binary files into something that can be converted into a DNS host name. Now in Unix, I always use the handy tool XXD to accomplish that. In Windows, Boyan here is using CertUtil. CertUtil has the interesting feature where it can base 64 encode data, which gets you close enough to something that can then easily be exfiltrated via DNS. So a neat little trick for the pen testers. Now from a defensive point of view, what I always recommend is to look at the volume of DNS queries. In particular, these more isolated hosts tend to issue less DNS queries than your average hosts. So you should be able to see anomalous spikes in activity. And criminals apparently have managed to create a copycat application for the very popular Bitcoin wallet Electrum. Now Electrum is usually distributed at electrum.org and the copycat wallet Electrum Pro as it calls itself can be found at electrum.com. Now, creating yet another Bitcoin wallet isn't really the problem here. The problem is that the fake version of this wallet does exfiltrate the seed that's being used to create the user's private key. And with that, the people behind this fake wallet will be able to actually derive the private key and steal the user's Bitcoins. So really a very simple Bitcoin stealing malware that is disguised as a wallet. The team behind Electrum Pro is denying the allegations. Uh, they also have shut down their website and offer it for sale now for 25 Bitcoin. Given that the website is shut down, it's of course at this point not really possible to verify the allegations anymore. Electrum has posted source code snippets that they claim come from the Electrum.com from this Electrum Pro wallet. And it appears the source code for the Treasure Hunter point of sales malware has been leaked on a Russian forum. Now, this particular variant of point of sales malware has been quite popular a few years ago, 2013, 2014. Home Depot and Target, I think, were affected by this malware. So not really super recent, but probably still quite capable. Now, what leaked is not just the malware itself, but also some of the admin components and the components used to build customized versions of this particular malware. Like with any of these source code leaks, it often then spurs sort of a new round of exploitation using this malware since now it will be a lot easier and of course cheaper to obtain a copy of it. And as I said, it probably still works in a lot of environments. And Radware found yet another example of a malicious Chrome extension that is used to not just crypto mine, but also spread itself via Facebook messages. It does steal users' data, in particular Facebook credentials, and can also be used in order to commit YouTube fraud, which typically means that the malware is actually then watching certain videos, liking them, or commenting on them. There are really a couple of things that we see more and more of lately. First of all, where we have Chrome extensions that start out non-malicious, but then are either compromised or taken over by malicious actors and malicious code is added to these otherwise benign and in some cases popular Chrome extensions. Secondly, these Chrome extensions are then used to send messages to Facebook friends in order to entice them to install these extensions. 
In this particular case, they say about 100,000 victims fell for this particular extension. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening. And as usual, if you like this podcast, then please spread the word. Talk to you again on Monday. Bye.